All righty. So this is the number one thing I want everybody to do for their pre-coursework. Again, the number one thing. And here's the reason why, because this is the most fun thing to do for the pre-coursework. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to go to freecodecamp.org. Or if you can't remember that, just look up free code camp on Google. And bam, we have freecodecamp.org. So we're going to go here and we're going to click this get started sign. And you're going to have to sign in with an account. But by now, I trust that y'all can set up an account for yourself. So the thing that I want you to do is I want you to go to responsive web design. Now, something to note about free code camp is there are hundreds of hours worth of material on here. And by no means do you have to do all of it. See all this stuff about Python? Don't care. See all this stuff about data, anal data, data analysis? Don't care. Information security? Don't care. Not that that's not important. Whatever. All these things are important. But the only thing that we care about right now is this responsive design uh, certification. And on this responsive design certification, there's really only one course that we care about for the pre-work. And that is this one, which is basic HTML and HTML5. Now, if you look, there's different other ones. There's responsive web design principles. There is CSS Flexbox, CSS Grid. There's all these different courses. Don't worry about them. Again, the only one that I want you to get through before this program starts is this HTML and HTML5 course. Um, I'm actually not through it all the way, but it's fairly easy to run through. So let's go ahead and, or depends on like where you're at. Like some people are on computers for the first time now. And obviously it's going to be a little bit harder for you, but also I really feel like everybody can get through all of this coursework. And if you get stuck, you can always reach out to an instructor for help. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go and we're gonna read through this. So it says, welcome to Free Code Camp's HTML coding challenges. These We'll walk you through the web development step by step. First, you'll start building a simple web page, blah, 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 blah. It's going to teach me here about a certain thing. And then down here, it says, ah, okay. To pass this test on the challenge, change your H1 elements text to say hello world. Now, you may or may not know exactly what that means yet, but the goal is, is that if you read all this stuff up here, you will learn exactly what that means. So what the inner text of an element is, is whatever is in between this H1 and this H1. So let's actually for a second, just write justice reskill in here. And something I want you to notice is that on the right here, it shows up just like it would on any other HTML page. In fact, let's actually make a few more things here just to show you that what you're seeing on the right here is literally just a web page. So I'll make an unordered list uh, don't worry about what that is for now. You're going to learn that later on in this course. But I just want to show you that in general, the way that this um, interface works is that it literally just renders the HTML that you put in there. So for example, I can make a list item. Oh, this is an ordered list. I'm sorry, not an unordered list. And we can just do, uh, let's do, maybe it's a, gro a grocery shopping list. So maybe in here we have grapes. You do not have to copy me on any of this. I literally just am merely trying to show you what is going on here. So let's go ahead and um, make this look pretty because we always like our code to look pretty. And maybe we have grapes, maybe we have apples, and maybe we have a uh, spaghetti. All right, now if I run this test, I am not gonna pass, why? because all they wanted me to do on here was have an H1 with the text, hello world. So you know what, we're gonna get rid of all this other stuff and we are going to look in here and we are going to type in hello world. And let's try running it, see what happens. And oh, darn, it says I messed up. So the reason why it says I messed up is because it actually has to equal hello space world. So. The reality is, is that a computer is doing this, so it can be very picky and is very picky. So we have to make sure we type in that, that uh, exactly how it is. So now if I run these tests again, I pass this test and I can move on to the next challenge. Now, 
In general, you should be able to crunch through a bunch of these. And if you scratch your head looking at it for 20 minutes and you can't figure out what's going on, that might be a solid time to ask for help. I will say this though, here is my air of caution. The less you do yourself, the less you will learn. So in general, a good rule of thumb here is if you get stuck for maybe like 20 minutes on the same thing, reach out for help. Until that point, maybe try sitting down and struggling with it. Because sometimes you need to practice what it feels like to not know what you're doing and how to guess what to do next. This is like a lot of what becoming a programmer is. And you may not have had to do this type of evaluation before. So you're constantly faced with this in programming. So you're actually kind of muscling up a part of your brain and getting stronger every single time you think really hard for yourself. And guess what? Even if after 20 minutes you do need help, if you struggled with the concept for 20 minutes and someone unstucks you, like gets you unstuck from the situation, if that happens, then guess what? You are going to remember that little thing that someone showed you way, way better. The analogy that I like to think about this is, is what sandwich is gonna taste better? A gourmet sandwich after eating an entire buffet or a gourmet sandwich after not eating for an entire day? I bet most of y'all will agree with me that the hungrier you are for that sandwich, the more valuable it is to you. And your brain works the same exact way with learning information. So if I don't know how to get past this and I spend 20 minutes thinking about it, and then somebody tells me, I'm going to retain it a lot better than if I just go in there and ask for help. So my challenge to all of you would be to struggle for an appropriate amount of time. And I will say that around 20 minutes is a good rule of thumb for right now. Sweet. Hopefully uh, you get started on this and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your time and good luck with all this pre-course work.